Hey sports fans, welcome to this week's edition of Tahoe Sports Line. Pete is not here, so I'm filling in for him. And then we've got our resident celebrity expert in the house, Mike Bellis. Welcome. Thank you for having me. And then, of course, Coach McLaughlin. <laughs> well, I Fun tell to you pick what. with you every week. Tell you what, Mike, the last guy was there, Steve Hemphill, played football at Drake. He went one and three, so you got your task cut out for you here. We'll see. All you have to do is get two correct and you two beat him. Two. That's it. That's how it works. Here are our contest winners from last week. Josh Beadle won a snowmobile tour from Lake Tahoe Adventures and Emery Lynn $25 to Base Camp Pizza. So this is what you have to do to play against us. Just log on to our website, LakeTahoeTelevision.net, and it's under the contest tab. So, Danny, what games do we have this week? Oh, our contests are going to be a lot of fun. Let's start with New Orleans going to Seattle. in. The House of Horrors there up in Seattle. And uh, New Orleans is getting eight and a half points. I am going with New Orleans for a couple of reasons. I think the game plan on how to beat Seattle has been shown by Arizona. I think New Orleans can copy that. And it's really hard when you get got uh, Drew Brees. He's going to score a ton more points than people think, no matter what you bring against him. I don't know. Last time the Saints went to Seattle, they lost 34 to seven. So I don't think eight and a half points is gonna be enough to put them over the Seahawks in this one. I like the Seahawks in CenturyLink. And I agree, I think the Seahawks uh, defense is too tough and the home field advantage is uh, way too much to overcome for the Saints. Yeah, expect a couple of false starts. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure of that. And a lot of touchdowns. Uh, the next game is gonna be Indianapolis against New England and New England is favored by seven and a half points. And I'm going again with the road team, Indianapolis. I think Andrew Luck has turned out to be one of the top quarterbacks going into the playoffs right now. What he did last week was unbelievable coming from behind like that. Hard to bet against the hot hand. So New England's awfully banged up. I like Indianapolis to cover. Yeah, I, I agree. I like Indianapolis to cover as well. I think they proved a point last week against the Chiefs when they came back and won that 45 to 44. I don't think the Patriots defense is good enough to uh, keep this one. It'll, they'll be close. I think the Patriots will win, but I think it will be a closer game than they're expecting. So I'm going to go with the Colts. Now, I like the uh, Patriots. I know that the Colts have a couple of defensive starters that are out for the playoffs. And I like the Brady Bunch at home. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, go with the home team. Yeah, Pete's Minus going to be really happy where he is to hear that somebody went with his there New England go. Patriots. All right, San Francisco is actually favored in Carolina against the Panthers. Rematch. I like San Francisco. Last time they played, San Francisco couldn't do much. They only scored nine points, but they didn't have Michael Crabtree. They didn't have um, Anthony da uh, uh, Vernon Davis, and they also did not have uh, Alden Smith. I agree. You know, I think that the 49ers are the better team, um, but for some reason I just have a feeling the Panthers at home, 10-9, they won it last time. 49ers struggled with the Panthers. I'm going to go with the Panthers. Two great defenses, low-scoring game. I'm going to go with the 49ers on the road. They're playing well. All right, then San Diego goes to Denver. Denver's favored by 10 and a half. Well, two reasons why Denver will win by more than that, Peyton and Manning. Uh, exactly. <laughs> Come on, man. I think uh, I'm going to go with the Chargers. The last two games they played in the regular season were seven-point games, and uh, I think it's going to be closer than people expect. I'll take uh, the Chargers and the points. I uh, hope you're right for Nick's sake in the back room because he's rooting for the Chargers, but I think Phillip Rivers might be exposed in this one as being not a top-tier quarterback. He's been playing well, but... It's really hard to bet against Peyton Manning yes. in the playoffs. I'm just saying. I think that the road to the AFC goes through Denver. That's a wrap for this week's edition of Tahoe Sportsline. We'll see you next week.